Hi, my name is Mrs. Howard and I teach English 2, Creative Writing, and AP Seminar. I've been a teacher now for 16 years and I come from a long line of school teachers in my family and my dad was actually a principal. One fun fact about myself is that I owned a bed and breakfast, restored a historical home and opened a business and served a lot of coffee to a lot of people from around the world. I'm Ryan Montgomery. And I'm Miles Crowley. Today we're playing a game called Ryan and Miles on the Street, where we wander the halls of New Tech, asking people pressing questions and finding out their opinion on shocking current events. Are you ready? And away we go. <laughs> Mr. Smith, move. Oh my God, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, where are you? I'm coming. I'm coming. Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, for a dollar, for a dollar, will you please sing me a song? Happy birthday to you. Lame song, but you did it. Here's a dollar. Thank you so much, Mr. Smith. Could have picked better. I expected more from you. I heard you had a good taste in music, but apparently not. Okay. Oh my God. Name three women actors who are not in superhero movies. Um. I have a new question. Sydney, 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 can you tell me how many continents there are? Continents? Seven? Good job, Sydney! Sydney knows geography! Sydney knows geography! Bella, Bella, how do you feel about Kim and Kanye's recently announced divorce? Yeah. Birthday question. Name three famous white people. Barack Obama. <laughs> Miss Kathy, Miss Kathy, Miss Kathy. Real quick, which teacher is this? Which teacher is that? That's one of the teachers here at New Tech. You don't know, how do you not know your staff? Why don't you know the staff? What, why? How do you not know them? Donnie, uh, Donnie, can you please tell me? I want you to name. Oh. Did you? Oh, Grover. Okay, I need you to tell me. Can you name three celebrity women that are not in superhero movies or any way affiliated with the Marvel or DC universe? Gwen Stefani. Mm -hmm. Uh, Lizzo. Okay, one more. Uh. Dolly Parton. Okay, that was a very good answer. Good job, Doni. <laughs> what is going on on this day? Excuse me, excuse me. Can you tell me who do the gays love more? Is it Gaga or Princess Diana? What the heck? Hi, New Tech. I'm Daryl Lee. I'm the instructional coach here at New Tech High Capel. Um, this is my first year as an instructional coach, but I was here once before as a facilitator, a Spanish facilitator, during the first four years of New Tech's opening. Um, I love to teach. I love to connect with other people. And one really fun fact about me is that I've been collecting vinyl records for over 50 years. So I have currently over 9,000 records in my collection. I know it's a bit of a habit. Mission Impossible Fallout is a movie where Tom Cruise fights against a secret international organization which plans to launch nukes to contaminate the water supply for a third of the world's population while partnering with a person who looks suspiciously like Superman who turns out to betray him. Tom Cruise then proceeds to somehow beat Superman in hand-to-hand -hand combat and stop the nukes from detonating while also spending nearly half of the movie running around. Shrek 2 is about a misunderstood onion and his beautiful onion wife who's human by day, onion by night. The evil magic grandma and her fake blonde son are jealous of this wonderful onion couple and create a scheme to make the onion wife fall in love with the fake blonde. After the onion turns into a slightly more attractive human man and his chatty donkey is turned into Maximus from Tangled, 
the greatest final scene in any movie ever ensues, and the day is saved when the Frog Prince sacrifices himself for the sake of his onion daughter. Interstellar is a movie about a magic man who gets the magical power of exploring the magic space by breaking into a space center through the support of his young magical daughter and her all-knowing knowledge of wire cutters, who later becomes an adult woman because this man decides it's a cool idea to step on a planet where time doesn't cooperate with anything else, and almost drowns on that planet. And as a result of his rash actions of wanting to become the oldest man alive, he gets sucked into a black hole and basically goes on a drug trip and gets sent to Uranus. Hi, my name is Mr. Sura. I teach physics, so that's 11th grade and some 12th graders for my AP Physics 2 class. I teach because I want physics to be fun and accessible for everyone. When I was getting my degrees in physics, I always heard like, oh, you study physics? I hated physics in high school. And so I really want to show more and more people that physics can be a lot of fun and that people can understand it. And so one fun fact about me is that I can sing in like the whistle register range. So like the Mariah Carey, like. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna play a little game called Guess That Tweet. And you have to guess whether it was Uglo, Kanye, or Jaden Smith that tweeted it. Nice, nice. Okay. Who tweeted this? Oh, I forgot you were a hype machine. Kanye? Who tweeted that? Yuko, Kanye. I've okay. read this one somewhere, and it this was uh, mm, Kanye. Uh, Sam Uglo. I'm gonna go with Smith for this one. I'm gonna go with Smith for this one. Say, uh, Jane Smith, your final answer? Final answer. That is actually wrong. It was actually Samuel Uglo. Samuel Uglo. Tweet. That's Uglo? That is indeed Mr. Uglo! <laughs> Yay! Good job, Shashir. No. <laughs> no, it was Mr. Uglo. Oh. And your final guess? Yeah. Oh, no! Wait, it's Uglo. It's Uglo. Are you sure? Yeah. You're right. It was Uglo. That's why they call me the Uglo man. <laughs> <laughs> Just stare in the mirror and cry, and you'll be good. Was that Jaden Smith, Kanye West, or Mr. Sam Uglo? Uh, Kanye West? It's gotta be Jaden. I will say that one's Uglo. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> this is something all three of them would say. I'm gonna go with Samuel Uglo. Uglo, final answer? Final answer. I wanna say it's either Kanye or Uglo. Uh, uh the 50-50. You go. That was Jaden Smith. What? What? <laughs> no, wrong. It was Jaden Smith. It was indeed Jaden Smith. Process of elimination. <laughs> <laughs> go final answer. Final answer. It's actually Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith. Can you tell me who tweeted? Empathy is the glue. That's gotta be you glow. Empathy is the glue. You glow, Kanye. That's it. Empathy is the clue. <laughs> That's the last one. Yes. I'm gonna go with Kanye on this one. I'm gonna go with you glow on no. Uh, Kanye West. That's gotta be Kanye West. That was Mr. Kanye West. <laughs> Good job, Marco. That was indeed Kanye West. You are incorrect, sir. That was Kanye West. Only Kanye would say something that makes so little sense. This was tweeted on September 16th, 2020. Oh. Today is our annual Kappa Delta Kaylee One Day Sisterhood Retreat, and I literally could not be more excited. After all, it's our first one. I planned the whole thing. I mean, I'm the leader, so of course I did. <laughs> I built the sorority from the ground up. I will not let it fall. <laughs> Kaylee. And Kaylee, and Kaylee, and Kaylee, and Kaylee. Yeah, I always thought it was kind of weird that we we're all named Kaylee. It was funny when it was just me and Kaylee O'Brien, but then Kaylee Douglas joined. 
I joined KDK because I heard it was Gossip City. I love gossip. I heard Palmer hates O'Brien's guts. Okay, Kaylee, pick one. This one's crepe pink and this one's lemonade pink. Um, lemonade pink. Yeah! <laughs> oh, come on. Any real KDK sister knows to choose crepe pink over lemonade pink. Oh, amateur. I am so happy to be here. Everyone is so nice, especially Kaylee with the P. You know, I think it's just important that this is a safe space for all of us. We've all been marginalized for our bizarre names. I just feel bad for Q. And then there's Kaylee Jones. She was supposed to be here, but she had an internship. Oh, I didn't actually have an internship. She didn't want to go. No, I don't know why it's spelled like that. Nobody in her family is Hispanic. Okay, sisters, now it's time for truth or dare. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. Truth or dare, Kaylee. Oh, Kaylee Palmer. Oh! <laughs> okay. Truth. Who do you like? I like Jeff. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Jeff is mine. Well, he kissed me last night at the party. He what? Okay, so there was a bit of a misunderstanding. They were talking about different Jeffs. One of them spelled with a J, and one of them spelled with a G. But I think it went well. I'd say the first annual Kappa Delta Kaylee One Day Sisterhood Retreat was a success. No, it wasn't! Kaylee and Kaylee. And Kaylee, and Kaylee, and Kaylee, we are some special ladies of Kappa Delta, Kaylee. Why am I here? <laughs>